my hair please honestly in fact in fact <laughs> that's better so I've explained to you my hair situation before so I don't want to see no blah 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 blah, blah in the comments all right um it is today Wednesday they called it hump day for some reason I think it's because it's the middle of the week and in the middle of a camel's back is a hump um, I don't see the logic there to compare a camel's hump to a wig but anyway I just find it really cringy to be honest so I never say that sort of thing um yeah I just have a nice old cup of tea which is delicious I made it with tea bag PG tips the best okay argue with yourself PG tips is the best okay soya milk and three no two teaspoons of brown sugar okay so basically today i have another day off so this week i have tuesday wednesday and thursday off today's wednesday and i am going to see my nan because it was mother's day on sunday and mother's day also includes anyone who you see in a motherly figure or obviously your grandmother or your nan um she's my nan but i call her my nana and yeah so i didn't just want to send her card and presents in the post and that's so impersonable you know i'll do it in person of course she'd like to see her granddaughter and you know i'm not ever ever telling anyone what to do or preaching but i really do think sometimes we just in this fast-paced lifestyle um we like to think okay as long as they receive something as long as they receive a text as long as they receive a phone call as long as they receive something in the post then they know that i care about them no it doesn't work that way you know um you know it's not we don't receive that someone cares about us just in a materialistic way it's in the way that it's also received you know the person um are they wanting to present it themselves are they wanting to give you a hug maybe or a kiss or you know what's the message behind the gift why did they pick that gift what does that gift mean to them um from them to you you know um or just seeing you in general because that person just loves you you know they're not loving up the gift they do love the gift of course you can give amazing gifts out here you know big or small you know it's always the meaning that counts you know it's always the intention that counts of course but i really do think sometimes maybe we see our i don't know because obviously some of us whatever relationship is with your parents whatever relationship is um i'll be honest mine's not the best with both my parents but it's better with my mother um and yeah i know that a lot of us will for example see our mother a lot but we won't see our grandma a lot now depending obviously i'm very sensitive to some people's grandparents aren't alive i mean with my grandparents um out of my mum's parents and my dad's parents the only grand parent that is alive is my nan is my nana and yeah i will go and see her as much as i can because i know she pre appreciates it and i'm her first grandchild as well and i really do think it's up to us to take the responsibility and the initiative of ourselves to get up and make time even if we don't have time make time okay make time for the ones you love before they're gone don't just tell them or don't even forget to tell them don't forget to tell them don't just tell them show them okay <laughs> it's just how i feel on the situation i see it awfully too many times and then when it's too late you're always thinking why didn't i see them more why didn't i show them more why don't I say it more? Why don't I give them a more hug? 
do not and yeah i just wanted to share that so yeah guys as i was going off in the tangent i didn't actually get to my point so i am going to see my nan today slash nana and yeah she lives in another part of essex so i live in um in the east london area of essex so where i live is east london and essex if it is possible okay again i'll do it yourself but um yeah she lives in more essexy area of essex if you get me <laughs> if you know you know but yeah so i'll be heading on the train um real soon it is nearly 12 p.m now i plan to leave at 12 30 and get there by around 1 30 ish so in between 1 30 to 2 p.m i plan to get there by which i shall and yeah i'm just enjoying my lovely cup of tea and yeah it is slightly raining today i don't know if you can see it just just slightly slightly um nothing too torrential you know and so yeah i'm gonna get changed in a minute once i finish this i'm gonna take my vitamins and yeah i'm gonna make my green juice ready so i can bring it with me to drink on the way there i'm gonna bring some fruit with me as well because to be honest with you i really am a fruit girl i do believe in eating um fruit so i'm gonna bring a few different pieces of fruit more time i'll be honest with you i eat between five to five to eight different pieces of fruit a day i really do and yeah that will range between all different sorts and that really does help with my health my skin etc 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 so many benefits i'm not going to list them all now um i do believe in the heavy consumption of fruit and vegetables and sometimes i will talk about health on this channel and that's just something that is i'm passionate about so you will hear different things that i'm passionate about you know on this channel i'm not wearing these nails for nothing guys i'm a spiritual person i'm very passionate about spirituality i'm very passionate about health okay i'm very passionate about a lot of things that you will pick up this channel is to get to know me at the end of the day i am my authentic self here i don't care no man all right you will see me this is what this channel is for it's it's amber it's me i'm authentically me you know you will just i'm relaxed i'm myself you understand you will see you will see the hyped up me you will see the childish me, you will see the serious me, you will see me around my family sometimes, you will see me around my friends sometimes, you will see me by myself sometimes, sometimes I'll go on rants, okay, that is just me, so if it's too much for you, you know what to do, alright, but yeah, while you're here, click that like button, click that bell button, and click that subscribe button while you're here, why not but yeah it's all up to you so yeah what to do what to do what to do right i'm just at the station so i'm not at the station bruh just at the bus stop to um go to the station and i haven't bought my ticket yet but i'm just gonna buy it online it's so quick and you have to just type in the code and pick up the um, tickets from the station, so I'm just going to do that because they don't use Oyster cards um, at the station where I'm going to be going to because outside of London, only the London areas use Oyster cards. But um, yeah, the bus is coming in like one minute. I can literally see it ahead of me. Yeah, that red bus. I'm in the bus now guys, so it's literally like just three, three stops. The thing is, if I'm walking all the way down this road, it's no point because it takes much quicker on the bus. And this is hell of a long road, to be honest, and it's raining. So, yeah. This little bit of my eyelash, because 
I got eyelash extensions the other day, like a few weeks ago, and they've lasted quite well to be honest, quite good quality, but this is starting to annoy me, like sometimes when they're almost falling off, they just go all wonky and stuff, but to be honest, I'm forgetting to like brush them with the eyelash brush, but anyway, so other than my eyelash, which is not really makeup, not really, I'm not wearing any other makeup, and um, yeah, that's mask last night done literally wonders to my skin but my skin was a, my skin was already clear anyway um he said i've been drinking lots of water eating lots of fruit been taking my vitamins and supplements so yeah that is really great for the skin the green juice is worth the wonders as well but um yeah the trick to good skin is to not do too much, not use too much product on it. Just make sure that you use more time natural products, okay? And eat good, drink lots of water, and do the occasional deep cleansing um, face mask and a voila. Guys, I am so upset. I was looking forward to eating this banana and this is all I've bloody got left. You know when the banana's like a little bit coming soft and it just it's just about to slip and it just it just fell. Mmm so bloody annoyed. Honestly. That's all I've got left of my flipping banana. Honestly.
you know my style. It's time. It's time to have a worn my beloved bunny in month. It's time I have broken the seal and I ain't stopping for no one, honey. one more train to get on but yeah can you see the immediate effect like forget about a mask that ain't essential these are essential honey guys can you believe that I look at the train times when I come down the stairs to get to the other platform and my train was coming in literally one minute so I ran up the other stairs to get this train and as I ran on to this train that's when the door shut and the train was about to leave so I literally got it just in time and if I didn't then I would have to wait for maybe a good extra 20 minutes for the next one so I am lucky today I'm telling you I am feeling today so much like today is a good day and spiritually I just feel so good and so high I'm sure you can tell like the weather's good outside it's not miserable I'm just feeling it today guys I'm just feeling it I'm feeling this I'm feeling that feeling this the eye it's the my oh my oh my I'm a poet and you didn't even know it walk with me child walk with me children because the earth wherever I walk on the ground that's my catwalk Fabulous day! Hey! So, it's so funny because um, there was a guy that, I don't know, sometimes um, because I have like just a vibe that's vibrating out of me and my aura and stuff, um, like you understand if you're slightly spiritual. Um, I'm not slightly spiritual, I'm heavily and deeply spiritual, but anyways, yeah, the vibes and aura that I was like outshining sometimes overpours to people and they just can't help themselves but say something to me. So basically, um, the man like near the ticket thing at the station was went near the barriers was like, You right? And I was like, You right? And then he took the mick out of me, he was like, You right? Like, try to take the mick out of how I talk. I was like, take the mick out of me. And he was just laughing. He was just like, no, you haven't realized I'll just, you know, you look happy. So we're just having a joke. And I was like, no, it's all right. I get the banter. I was like, I just having banter with you saying you're taking the mick out of me. But um, then he was saying, oh, listen to anything nice. Because he saw this was out of my phone. And I was like, yeah, yeah. The music in my head, you know. And then we just laughed. And it was just funny, but yeah. Um, These are all experiences. Yeah. What are you doing now? Oh. <laughs> what are you doing? Just make sure that camera's not pointed at me. You look like a tramp in the corner. No. I like this. Yeah. This is 
I like that. I'm going to keep this photo. Keep what you want. I'm really, I don't it. think you'd look. You and Brianna and you and. Oh. You're great, Nan. Oh. <laughs> I'll take. If you want any of these, so long as you're not going to chuck them out. No, you know, I'm not. On there. But whether it's, it's a fake or not, I thought, well, it's it was pretty. only. It smells like some incense. What? Yeah. What is it? Like it's it's a very incense-y smell. I like that sort of smell. Is an oud. An oud. Oh. Romance. They're lovely. They're quality, isn't it? Quality. Let me see. Okay. Okay. Oh. Arabic. Oh. It's Arabic, okay. Arabic always have the best, like Arabic smells are the best. Yes. Usually, they just know how. To, I don't know. They just do it differently. I don't know what they do. I don't know. You know. The perfume is very nice. Yes. Mm. Okay. The sum is a pure perfume so without alcohol. Yeah. I'm calling you Ita. Mm. They just use take little bit drops here. Yeah. And just put it in the hair and neck. You don't even need that much, isn't no, it? No, 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 no. Yeah. If you put too much, you don't even have it. Yeah, okay. Mm. Hello. Been a good girl. Yeah. Oh, my darling. That's better. So I am now home and yeah, I'm just running the bath. I'm gonna get in that real soon. And yeah, I am slightly tired as you can probably tell. I um, just wanna show you what I brought back with me. So first of all, I brought back some pictures that yeah my nan had basically a box of well she probably has loads but there was one particular box that she had out because it was from um, my dad's house before he moved um he moved to portugal last year but yeah like a box that he didn't take with him and there was just loads of pictures and pictures and pictures and these were some that I took their family pictures from my dad's side of the family like for example like I'm not going to show all of them but that's one of me my brother and sister and my great nan so that is my nan's mum um what else there is there is also that um, my great granddad and my great nan, my granddad holding me as a baby. There is some others. That is, this is my nan, and this was obviously me. And um, is that my sister or my brother? I can't particularly work out of that. No, no, no. I can. My sister, because I can see how old I am. Like, I'm like two years old, and that's my baby sister. And yeah, that's my nan. One of me and my dad. There is another one of me and my dad. 
And now it's up above. That is another one of my great granddad with me, my sister and my brother. And this one, wait, there's another one. Some of me and my great granddad. That one. And there is one that I have to show you all of my first birthday party and I swear I remember this because I have an extremely immaculate memory I remember like back way way back in the days when I was so so young but this was my first birthday party and it was in McDonald's okay it was in my local McDonald's where I lived at the time and there are my cousins all around me and the one this one here her, she's um, my mum's friend's daughter but anyway and you can see where I am, and I'm just so happy to be celebrated. I am the princess. Story of my life, okay. That is moi. Always have been, always will be, okay. Pretty. Nowadays, I'm more creamy, but yeah. You should see yourself as a princess. You should see yourself as a motherfucking queen, okay? Out in this bitch, right? Because you only come true how you come true. And if you want to come true, you know, who, who you come true is who you come true. If that is you, then that is you. If that ain't you, then that ain't you. But if that is you, then you is you. And I am me. So take me how I'm a beast. And that's. That's on that that's on period honey. Okay. But anyways, um <laughs> like if you know me, you know me. Like, you know. If you know then you know. So yeah. But anyways, um oh yes. I need to show you all. So you already see the boots that I got, but I might show you again. I don't know. But I want to show you my uh, my nan. She just loves giving stuff away. Okay. If I say I like this, she'd be like, "Oh, do you want it?" If like if I'm admiring something of hers because her house is just like her house is beautiful. It just has she just has loads of lovely trinkets and everything, and she just has so many nice stuff to look at. You know. And they're all incredibly unique to her. Like, you'll never find a house like hers, basically. Um, yeah, her house is very unique. Like, basically, it's like her... So, so basically, it's like her house is like a beautiful antique store. It's like a modern-day antique store. Very neat, but... It's also like a jumble sale, but neatly placed, if you see what I'm saying. But yeah, I think my orchid actually got squashed, but it's not meant to be so squashed, but I can prop it back up because it has this little clip that I can prop it back up on the stick. But this is the orchid that was on one of her windowsills in her kitchen, and it is beautiful, and it is actually a symbol of renewal it is a symbol of growth it is renewal of purity it is a renewal of new beginnings it is i mean it is a symbol of just you know fresh starts and it's a renewal of you know cleanness and i just love it to be honest with you let me give you a little close-up of her it's a her i think it's a her I'm going to look after her properly because I'll tell you a little story. I had a long, lovely blue orchid months ago and I didn't manage to look after it properly. Don't ask me how, don't ask me why, but it wasn't meant to be kept. That blue orchid just wasn't meant to be kept. And it was given to me by someone I really don't care about at all. Like, I don't engage with, don't care about. So I just, I threw it away yesterday. I don't know why I still had it because all the flowers had fell off. So, yeah, I chopped that away. And it's so mad how the universe works. I had a dream that I had to go to my nan's house today. I mean, I was going to give her her Mother's Day presents anyway. Um, 
what I got for her, like one day this week, but this is one of my days off. I had a dream that it had to be today that I went to her house, okay? It was either going to be today or tomorrow, but I had a dream that I had to go today, okay? So I went there and I got two goodies. Like, let me show you. Oh my god, the orchids fell off. Um, let me just show you. Show you. Let me show you. Show you. Show you. Okay, I got these two Buddhas that I saw on her window still. Cause my nan's very zen. She's very zen. She's she, she's she's stush, not stush, but she's quiet with it. Like she she shouldn't talk about zen things, but some of the way she the way she speaks, how she says things, how she comes out with things, you just know that she's zen. And she has these zen things around her house, and it's like, hmm, you're a dark horse zen woman, you know. But yeah, got this one. It's very very lovely perfect for me i'm just telling you and this one i love this one as well look at that one but yeah so i got them two buddhas and i got yeah i'll show you that but yeah so like i said threw away my blue orchid um that the flowers dropped off in the bin yesterday i got a brand new orchid a white one okay smaller probably easier to look after as well but this one i'm going to look after so well because i do believe plants are so important in your life and this one is so special because it got given to me by my nan it was a gift never reject a gift that you're given never reject if someone genuinely wants to give you something and it comes from their heart never reject it always accept it okay and um yeah honestly just love it i'm just gonna look after it so well i need to think of a name for her drop down in the comments below what you think i should call her i love you already yeah last but not least honestly i never come from my nans without bringing home something something or the other and usually multiple items okay she can't help giving stuff away she has loads she just abundance of treasures basically anyway these boots are gorgeous and to be honest with you why would i take okay she's not even old like okay she just she doesn't look she dress she doesn't dress her age she dresses um 30 years young she dresses half her age she um comes across as she's half her age she just is not she looks half her age like she just doesn't look her age my nan is a different breed okay but yeah can you believe these are my nan's boots and she in her 70s she really you can't tell on a man you can't tell okay but look these are gorgeous these are exact my style they fit me um i think earlier in the vlog you'll see me walking in them i just love them so much they're in such good condition I can't believe it like I needed a pair of boots like that and I got some and they're from my nan so they're even more special to me but yeah so that's basically all I've got to show you except actually there's some others that's me when I was a baby when I was a bubba that's lovely um I'm gonna put that up somewhere or maybe, maybe not put it up but I'll keep it to show you know my future kids and future grandkids and stuff you know um yeah, and there's others when I was a baby as well, but I won't show that. I'll just show ones of me and my sis. So me and my sister. There's a small picture. And this is me and my sister. And this is me and my sister. I love this one. I love this one so much. But, yeah, so I'm just running a bear. You can see. We could put some bubble bath in that, actually. Oh, I have it full up before I put the bubble bath. Anyway, so I take my shit out. I'm gonna go in the bed. I'm going to yeah, maybe have a little small something to eat because I had a big dinner. You saw my rose dinner, like um, absolutely massive plate. I finished it off. Um, but yeah, something small, like something really small to eat. Some fruit actually, because I brought fruit with me. I didn't end up eating it i also bought this a puzzle with me so i have to show you because like um you saw it in my bag you're probably wondering like what it was 
this is actually a puzzle that I brought with me to do at my nan's, like, because I knew I'd be there for, like, like hours. So, didn't end up doing it because my nan can talk for England. And when I say that, it's not in a cliche way. It's not in a way where people say that. It's in a way where I mean it. My nan and my nan's partner, my nan's husband, okay, can speak for England. But it runs in the family. Um, on my mum and dad's side, like, we're just big, 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 big talkers, like, we just talk and talk and talk, we can talk and talk and talk, um, I run the tray, I've got that tray, because as you know, like, I can just go into rants just like that, and I start talking sometimes, on the camera, I just can't stop talking, and it's like, it's actually in the DNA, like, it's actually a habit, um, but yeah, I can run off, run off, run off with my words, and yeah, m m m you know, m m plenty, plenty words keep coming, coming, coming. Um, funny because my dad's mum, which is my nan, which is my nana, and my mum's mum, who, um, yeah, she's not here with us anymore, very sadly. But um, she could talk and talk and talk as well. But honestly, 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 it just it just so 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 much and it's like raw like we're just we just can't you just can't stop us like chat 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 big time but yeah i love her so much um didn't get a chance to do that but yeah that would be fun to do with her this is just something nice that you can do like you know puzzle like when would you, would you ever do a puzzle like I've got a couple puzzles that I have but it's like when would you ever get out and do it you know this is one of the scenarios going to my nan get it out do it together but completely didn't even get a chance to do it but it doesn't really matter but anyway so so yeah guys I'm just gonna stop talking get to working okay and you my dog talking, and I get a girl in a fucking bed. You my dog talking, and I get a girl but listen, I forgot the words that song, but that is a tune. You my dog talking, and I get a girl in a fucking Anyways, don't, don't, just don't. <laughs> um, yeah, so listen, blood clot like and a comment and a subscribe all right catch you in my next vlog bye I, 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 I,